As the home of the iconic Old Man of the Mountain, Cannon Cliff has long been the subject of fascination and scrutiny. Now, 20 years after the Old Man's collapse, we're finding new reasons to take a closer look at the cliff. We're using a combination of remote sensing, surveying techniques, as well as in situ temperature probes, and even some laboratory analysis of rock samples we've collected at the cliff in order to try and disentangle the different forms of weathering that take place and see how they interact with the complicated structural geology and can really affect and impact rockfall risk across the face of the cliff. We know the climate in New England is warming, just like it is in many other places, and we want to see if we can understand and predict how bedrock weathering rates will respond to that going forward. Bedrock weathering influences global soil production rates, degrades infrastructure, and also has a big impact on the carbon cycle. So we want to understand these processes and in a lot of other environments, such as rock cuts for the construction of roads and highways, these are very similar environments where by understanding these processes better, we can help um, governments or institutions make better informed decisions. One of the most exciting elements of this project has been working with people who've been thinking about and studying the cliff and the old man for years. Through those relationships, we were able to source some incredible archival imagery and create a 3D model of the old man. We've made a fully interactive 3D environment where users can explore the old man back up on the cliff like they never could have before. When I joined Dartmouth, I never really expected that my project would connect with the local community in the way that it has. It's been incredibly rewarding to work at the intersection of science, society, and history. I can't wait to see what the next chapter holds for Cannon Cliff and the Old Man. <laughs>